What's up, everybody? My name is Coalfire, and welcome to Defending Camelot. Now, this is a, a new... It almost looks like a mobile-style game. Quite a bit like uh, Plants vs. Zombies, which I have not played before, but it's like a uh, tower defense kind of thing. I don't know. I saw it, thought it looked shiny, thought I'd check it out, see what's going on. I think it's played entirely with the mouse, but I'm not sure. Let's just, let's just see what the hell's going on. Arthur pulled the sword from the st- This story seemed to end there, but in fact it would Another beginning of the end. Defending Camelot. All right, that's, that's a pretty shiny intro. Camelot became a wealthy kingdom. Many kings desired the kingdom's wealth and power. This was also the reason that Morgan Le Fay wished to conquer Camelot for its riches. Morgana was a powerful witch. She summoned an army of the undead. <laughs> it's like chibi art. She made a deal with the Ogre Lord to attack Camelot from both sides. Arthur and Merlin asked the forest creatures for help, and they finally agreed. And so the War of the Four Armies began. Oh, okay. <laughs> I gotta say, the art style, <laughs> just like this, the art style and the music, um, kind of, kind of clash a little bit. Welcome to Camelot Battle. Click on a card to summon. Okay, click on a cell to locate your, oh! Okay, so I'm just like placing units right now. Nice. And we've got enemies incoming, alright. You need to summon warriors to protect. Congratulations! You've just finished the tutorial. Now build your troop to prepare the battle. So, I'm assuming I'm gonna get more and more money for killing these guys? Maybe not. Okay, um, is there, is there a way I can, like, speed things up? Because I can't really do anything else. So we'll just, we'll just let this play out for a little bit. A huge wave is coming, pay attention. I have a feeling that the developers are not native English speakers. Not a big deal. A lot of little typos, though. Okay, so... It's telling me to pay attention that, like, a big wave's coming in, but, uh... I have a new warrior, Old Farmer. Generate money to help build your troops. Lots of farmers to have strong troop. Victory! Level 1 complete. Reward... A hundred... Gems? What the hell are the gems for? Alright, let's just go on to the next level. Hello, overly adorable unicorn. Farmers are quite important to harvest money. Summon... Yeah, okay, we have 75. Okay, so... How often do you harvest the months? Huh? Huh? Okay, not that often. That's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna build a whole bunch of farmers right away because we need that months. We need all of that months. Okay. Yeah. You guys take a while. You guys take quite some time. Alright, well, when we get there, we get there. Coin to summon soldier, you need lots of coin to build your strong troop. Okay. Just finished the tutorial, now build your troop to prepare for the battle. Awesome! Still still kind of waiting on the muns. Alright, so... We just we, we gotta wait for the next round of monies. Perfect. Yes. So it was telling me that I needed to go to the barracks to train my units? Is that gonna make them, like, stronger or more efficient or... something along those lines? I feel like I need to put one in the middle, just in case something comes along. Because right now, one archer in each can, can do enough. Do the farmers actually have any kind of attack? Put another one here. And hopefully I'll have enough money. Is this the end of it? I think this is the end of it. No, I'm gonna put one there anyway. Because of reasons. 
I have a new warrior! A straw man! Born from magic to stop enemies. Cool. Victory! Level 2 complete. 110 gems. Alright, let's go to the menu so that we... Yeah, what's, what's in the barrack? Okay, so I have 120 gems. What is what does this do? Training course? Confirm? What is what does this do? Archers? Training course? Confirm. Okay, so does this take time or something? Like what what is what is going on here? Oh, there's like a little bar that starts filling up. Okay, I get you. So, the longer they're in there, they'll they'll start to earn experience or something. Alright. We got a little, like, time gating in this. That's fine. Okay, click on icon to destroy one warrior on field. Click on warrior to cancel. Okay, congratulations, you've just finished the tutorial. Now build your troop to prepare for battle. Okay, so now we know that we can destroy troops. And we get some refund for it. Okay, yeah, so I'm I'm going in hard right away with the farmers. Okay, doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to do that. Interesting. I'm not sure how much I like this money generation system. Because I, I f almost feel like you should just be able to get some for, for killing the enemies as well. So that way you don't have like a huge wave of defenseless farmers. Just like this, for when the enemies start coming in. Alright, we got 75, we need one more. Come on. There we go. Alright. Cool, so now we've gotten ourselves situated at the very start. Um, it's just gonna be a matter of these fuckers generating enough money. Alright, nothing, nothing seems to be going wrong here so far. I say that and watch me completely fuck this up, but, you know, this is, this is everything that we have. Oh, what's up, big guy? Yeah, you're going here. What does, what does straw man do? Are you doing anything? Are you doing anything at all? Are you like, in melee range kind of shit? Like, do you need to be in the front lines? Is, is that what this is? Fuck, and you've got a really long, like, cooldown time, too. So, are you just like... I'm not sure how these guys are dealing damage. I don't understand it! So do these guys just, like, deal damage by being next to them? I don't know. I don't know at all. Alright, so let's just keep building up this. And we'll put another one of you here. Because I feel like I screwed this one. Yeah, let's just let's just sell this one. And we'll put another there. Because these guys are gonna die no matter what. Because they're they're pathetic little weaklings. Cool. It's weird. Every single time. I feel like I'm just starting to get into the flow of the, uh, the combat, the level ends, and just like it, we move on. Okay. Level 3 completed, 121. Nice. I guess. Should buy the young farmer before level 25. How many levels are in this? Okay, this is Camelot Castle. Don't let enemies pass on. Oh shit. This is the enemy's attack, uh, castle. Attack and occupy. What? You just finished the tutorial. Awesome! Interesting enough. I'm not quite sure how this is gonna play out, though. How am I supposed to attack if all of my units are static? Are my arrows just gonna fly far enough to actually kill things? Oh, so I'm just picking the lane that they go in. Okay, so what happens if I pick, like, a, a guy like this? Oh, weird. Okay. So you're going to work your way all the way up to them, and I just... I need more farmers so that I can build stuff up really quickly. Yeah, I, I, get, that, I get that we have a lot of stuff coming in. So, are you even dealing damage, Mr. Mr. Skelly, uh, to Mr. Skelly? Sorry. Are you just, uh, sucking up damage? I think I'm gonna need to do this? Uh-oh, we might lose a farmer here. 
Oh, we lost an archer. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Oh, you just killed my farmer. Fuck you, sir. All right, that's fine. We will rebuild. Steven will be remembered for his, his wonderful service. Yeah, it kind of feels like I just need to build everything that I can on cooldown. What does this do? Oh! That works. I am so very okay with this. Nice. The... Our hippie hoppy bros are actually a pretty good way to deal with a lot of this because they block off progress. Yeah, see? Just like that. So, we've actually done some damage to the castle so far. Alright. Just keep building farmers and... Oh, I guess we won. Yeah, again with the whole, like... It, it just, it cuts off as soon as I feel like I'm, I'm really getting into the flow of the game. And then we just, we move on. So let's go check on our barracks real quick. Okay, you guys collect coin. What is, what does the coin collection do? Okay. So, yes. Yes, what, what does this even do? Shop. Oh, you guys are... Oh. Okay, so we have to earn coins to earn new... types. Okay. Summon a defensive cavalry legion to de devastate enemies. Generate more money than the... O I thought I was upgrading my current units. That kind of sucks. Okay, so it's all just about, like, earning extra coin to get more stuff, and that was pretty expensive. I have 600 coins. The least expensive thing in there was, like, uh, click on icon to activate special skill on warrior? Click on warrior to use special- Whoa! Skills are really rare and expensive, so you should use them carefully. Do I get that one back, then? Okay, congratulations, you've just finished the tutorial. Now build your troop to prepare the battle. Awesome! I kind of wish there was that same map on every single one so that I could know where to build them ahead of time. Yeah, so it's just this, like, starting phase over and over and over again, at least in the campaign. I have a feeling in endless mode it would just be, like, massive amounts of stuff that you could... Oh, Lord. Okay, um, yeah. This guy needs some protection. Because he's got a big one coming in. So, it looks like our... Uh... Scarecrows are... Like, melee range tanks. While our archers are ranged DPS. That kind of situation. Alright, so... We need another archer here. Oh, good lord. Okay, this is not going well. Come on. Show me the money. All right, let's... Oh, shit. Okay, uh... Boom? What? It showed me that that was gonna hit that one! Oh, fuck me. Okay. All right, that's not good. That's not good at all. A huge wave is coming! Joy! You told me not to use my fucking special abilities, so... You know what? Special ability on... Are, are you even doing anything? It doesn't look like you're doing anything. Man. Man, this- this is- this is not good. This is not good at all. Well. Okay, that's just- that's- uh, I just want to see what happens if something makes it through. Do I lose? Or do I lose health? Cool, yeah. Whole thing ends. Alright, that sucks. Defeated! Well, let's, uh, let's try that one again. Oh, that's not the one that I wanted to use that on. I wanted to use that on you! Oh, that sucks. Okay. Okay, so I think that just affects directly around it, which is kind of unclear from the beginning. Boop. Okay. Alright, yeah, so it's not necessarily about, like, getting all of the best, uh, units out there fast enough to fight. 
It's about spamming farmers. So you have enough money to build the units on cooldown. And the cooldown uh, seems a little strangely balanced. But I think I'm going to leave this episode here. Because uh, I have a feeling this is going to be a very, very grind-intensive game. And that uh, makes it so it's a little bit harder for me to say what I really think about it. Because I don't know what the end game is going to be like. At the beginning, it feels like the fight ends as soon as it gets going. Like, you build up enough to actually start building the rest of your units. Like, you, you get enough of the, the farmers so that you can build the rest of your stuff, and then as soon as that happens, it's over. Like, you put down your money generation and your really basic defenses, and then before any, like, big battle happens, it's just like, okay, next level. It would be cool if you had the option to, like, keep going to earn more gems and some kind of tutorial about the barracks as to, like, what the fuck is going on here. Because as it is, I thought this was going to, like, spend these coins to train my units to either make them faster or do more damage or have more health or cost less. And... It's really just about farming more coins, and I don't know how I feel about that, because you farm up coins to earn new units, to farm up coins to get more units, and it's just this cycle of earning begets earning, and I don't know. I, I feel like it should be more about the gameplay than it is about the units and, and collecting stuff, but I don't know. I don't play a lot of games like these, so I don't really have a big basis of comparison to, to say like, oh, this is like this in this game, or it's it's uh, dissimilar to this in this game. So I don't really know. If this is something that looks interesting to you, give it a try. This is not the type of game that I normally play, nor I think the type of game that I would normally be interested in. So I don't think I am any kind of authority on whether or not this is a good game. Personally, not a great first impression, but, you know, I'm, I'm not the end-all be-all of this kind of bullshit, so. This has been Defending Camelot. Light, for whatever reason. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Coalfire, and I will see you next time.